What's up guys, prepared to wander out in the woods today. I've got a review for you today on a new Hidden Woodsman pack that I just got in and that I've been kind of testing out this weekend. And I want to show it to you, see what you guys think. Stick around. So I just got this pack in from Hidden Woodsman. This is the Tropical Lightweight Rucksack. And basically what this is, it's a modernization of the old Alice pack. And everybody in the bushcraft survival community loves the Alice pack. And I started with one. Um, I loved mine. I used it for a long time. Uh, but there's always ways to upgrade and get better with gear. And the Hidden Woodsman has come out with this version of his Alice pack, I guess, which you want to call it. And uh, he's really done some really cool upgrades to it. Uh, some modernization, like I said, of materials and um, just some features that are not found on the old traditional Alice pack, but it still retains that basic layout that I think we all enjoy and love because it's so useful. All right, so we've got the, the, the basic layout of the old Alice pack, if you, as you can tell. We've got a top lid, compression straps that run down either sides, and we've got three pockets. Alice pack right but that's kind of where it ends because everything else has been upgraded uh, as far as materials uh, and volume now materials from what I understand this is a 500d Cordura of course you can tell there is binding or edging on the on all the flaps uh, there are uh, Fast tech buckles and um, rot proof thread. So that, that's a very basic thing with Hidden Woodsman. Of course, made in the USA. That's another thing that you need to know, and, and it's a, definitely something worth calling out. Um, also, another feature that um, I really, really kind of like on this is that all the straps um, have retaining Velcro on the end of them. So you can roll these up. And get them out of the way. So that way you don't have these loose, long, dangly straps hanging everywhere. You can get those all cinched down nice and tight. You can also run them uh, and Velcro them to the strap behind them. So that keeps them from flopping. And that just helps kind of control everything and keeps everything nice and neat. Um, and of course, since it is an Alice Pack, it works with the Alice Pack system. And here I have an old Alice Pack frame. I've got the standard Alice Pack shoulder straps and the, the standard kidney pad. One thing that does come with uh, the Hidden Woodsman Pack is this retention strap. And then actually what that does is that helps cinch the pack down to the frame and keeps it from flopping back and forth. You still retain the space in here behind the frame, which I know a lot of guys like to uh, put a poncho. I keep my rain suit back here in a pouch and it goes right inside behind that strap and that sets in that, that pocket, that space between your back and the pack. So it's a little bit of an extra storage area, and it works pretty well. Um, so once you get the pack, you, you're gonna need to get some straps, get a belt, and get a frame. Now, on Hidden Woodsman's site, he does sell straps and belts uh, as an, an additional cost, of course. Um, but they're, they're definitely more upgraded than these. But if you're in a pinch, um, budget wise go to your surplus store pick you up some of the old gear maybe you got some of this stuff laying around in your basement so all you have to do is add it to this stuff and you got a, a system and you're ready to go moving back to the front the pockets as you can tell are not as narrow as the old Alice pack they're actually much wider and so much so 
but I can get a pretty decent sized cook kit in that front pocket with room to spare. Side pockets are the same way. Someone was asking me about this and they asked me what kind of uh, different size things could fit in here. Well, I can tell you without a doubt, pretty much any size canteen kit that you have from the Pathfinder, the heavy cover, whatever is going to fit in here. Full size Nalgene's, um, whatever. I've got a my skinny Stanley bottle in there, but I've got room for other stuff. Tons of room. So these are much wider. Now, one thing that the Alice Pack has that this does not, this does not have the pass-through pockets on the side like the Alice did. Um, I would probably would have loved to have seen that feature. That would have been a great um, add-on to this, but it's not a deal breaker for me. I, I mean, it's it's nice when you're carrying longer stuff like axes and things like that. But uh, this does not. This is sewn right into the body. So another nice feature is the on the top flat pocket, you've got this mesh material with a zipper. So this is for your lightweight grab-and-go items. I've got a microfiber towel in here, my butane lighter. I've got a strap to hang my pack from. Of course, we've got a nice drawstring cinch collar on the top here, so you can get that all nice and tight, give you a little bit of weather protection, and it opens up into a very generous uh, size pack. Let me see if I can lift this up so you can see it on the inside. But you'll notice that there is an orange pocket in there, and that is a sleeve that can be used for a hydration bladder, for your tarp, uh, a blanket, whatever you can jam in there. I've got some long items like my trowel and my knife and a saw. But I think as you can tell just by looking at this thing how deep it goes, um, I'll have specs down below for sure to show you volume. But this thing is, it's much more generous than the old Alice was. You've just got a ton more room. Got another interesting feature. is that the the compression strap for the main body of the bag you can adjust it from the bottom but you can also adjust it from the top see that so it goes both ways and that just gives you more adjustment um, more control uh, if you're putting larger items underneath the lid you're able to cinch it down from the top or cinch it down from the bottom either way now on the bottom of the pack I've got two Hidden Woodsman bedroll straps attached because I've got my blanket going underneath here and I've got I put a wool blanket underneath here no problem fit perfectly but you'll notice of course there is webbing loops across the bottom so you can strap 
bat or uh, sleeping bags or blankets or a bedroll or a pad or whatever you want so it's another great option plenty of features right there to do whatever you want with it now another thing uh, about this pack is that currently it is on sale at Hidden Woodsman. I don't know how long that sale is going to last. The sale could be down by the time I post this video. I don't know. Uh, but the price was really decent. Um, and if you're looking to build your own pack system with the frame and the straps you want, because there's, as you know, or maybe you don't know, there's a lot of options out on the market that are upgrades to the standard Army issue Alice gear and uh, there are plastic frames, there are metal frames, and there are a wide variety of straps and waist belts. Uh, Tactical Taylor, uh, of course Malcolm at Hidden Woodsman makes his own set of, of belts and straps. So there's just different stuff out there that you can choose from. So you can really, you know, get the pack and then customize it to your needs, to your budget, um, and, and have a really decent bag that's gonna last a long time because uh, I think with the upgraded materials to a 500D Cordura, it's going to last a lot longer than the old Alice pack did. This is going to be a bag you're going to end up hanging, handing down uh, to your kids, for sure, if you take care of it. Uh, Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I don't really have much more to say about this. Um, it is uh, a very simple pack. I mean, of course, it's based on the Alice. There's not a lot to it. It is pockets, a main compartment, and a zippered lid, and then some attachment points on the bottom, and that is it. And that's what I want. Um, it makes it for a really simple, easy to pack and load bag. You can get a wide variety of gear in here. You can have your sleep system on the inside of the bag because it has enough size and volume to it and width that you can actually get a compressed sleeping bag at the bottom so it's not hanging on the outside of your bag. Um, and with the different uh, options for shoulder straps and waist belts, you can make it as comfy as you want. Um, it is a fantastic product. I love it. I've been using it this weekend. Uh, it carries very well. Um, it's been very easy to load, very easy to find my gear and keep it organized and haul all those bulky items that I take out camping with me. Um, so it's been fantastic. I love it. Great product. As always with Hidden Woodsman stuff, it's like I haven't had a bad product yet. They've all been good. Uh, they're fantastic. So please check out Malcolm's website. Link down below. Also, please check out the affiliate links down below for Amazon. Uh, check out Instagram and the Facebook group. Join that, if you will. And, of course, do all the good stuff of like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon so you're getting notifications. And we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Thanks for watching.